It's 2023 and I've been overlooked in the AFL draft once again. I'm going to be taking you through my raw, unfiltered reaction the day after the draft. But the question is, will I cope with this heartache? Go on, mate. It's not that big of a deal. Welcome, boys. I've made my way to the Oval and it is the day after the draft. As you probably already know, I didn't get drafted. Bit of a shame. I'm not really trying to get drafted anymore. I was when I was 18, but it's still a shame not getting drafted because it was a big dream of mine. I'm not feeling the best, but instead of partying, I'm actually gonna go and have a really good session on the Oval. And it all starts now with some goal kicking. So let me take you guys through that. The first thing I'm gonna do is have 10 shots on goal. Now, if I don't kick eight or more of these goals, that means I have to redo it. The first shot is from roughly the boundary. I never missed this shot. Aim the ball at a 45 degree angle and just inside the far goal post. That's one for number two. I've actually worked on this technique lately. I only take like three little steps and then I just like gain momentum. So I barely move oh, and that is the result. That is probably the worst kick I've ever done in my life. <laughs> don't listen to that more. Don't listen to that goal kicking routine. What the f was that? All right, boys, that was probably the worst kick I've ever done, but I'm still gonna back my routine in. I didn't aim for something behind the goals then, so just aim for something behind those goals of yours and just really kick through the ball. Oh, just snuck it. If I land this, it's four from five, which is a decent start. Money. This one will make it five from six. What you want to do is just make sure that you're not moving the ball around in your hand, keeping the ball as still as possible and kicking through it. And that's the result, boys. That is the best kick I've done so far. Another little tip is draw an imaginary line from the middle of the goals to yourself and walk in that line. Oh, just snuck it. This is to go seven from eight, come on. Oh my God. I need to be able to kick the last two in order to complete the challenge. Hopefully I can do it. That's one. It's all come down to the last kick. If I kick it, we're good to proceed. If I miss, I go do another 10. Comment down below if you think I want to kick it. Pause the video right now and comment. Bro, you haven't paused yet. Let's go. Let's go, I know you're backing me in. Come on, left foot. Let's go, baby. Eight from 10. Eight from 10, I'll take it. Didn't kick the best today, but now we can get to the running. So let's go to that. That's the running session done, boys. I'm absolutely gassed. Who said sprinting was easy? If you always want to better your sprinting or your life in general, just click the first link in the description and watch that video. It's absolutely free. And uh, I'll pop the workout up here. Ba bing <laughs> It's actually a hard workout. You boys need to try it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just film a little bit of an unfiltered, uncut edit of my reaction to the AFL draft. So let's cue that. Boys, let me tell you a story. I'm on all fours in a dark room, bawling my eyes out, having no support around me and feeling so alone. The 2019 draft has just been announced and my name wasn't in it. Was I upset? No shit, this was my whole world. All throughout junior footy, I thought I was gonna get drafted and I never did. So what did I do the next couple months? Well, I didn't work hard, instead, I drunk piss, I partied hard with my mates, I started eating like shit, going out all the time, getting fat. I was just being an absolute degenerate and my mental health took a massive hit. However, it's 2023 now and the draft's just been. Am I feeling pretty flat about it? Not really, I'm actually making a positive influence on so many people's life and you guys can as well. 
anything that happens in life, anything that is hard, you've just got to get through it and feel as though the earth is actually making you go through that adversity to come out the other side a stronger person. Literally anyone who has made it, anyone who is successful in this world goes through so much shit and all the shit that they go through, that is the best thing that will ever happen to them. So if you boys want to transform your life, click the first link in the description, watch a free video where I chat to you one-on-one -on -one, and embrace life. Footy is just a sport. How about actually hug your mom, hug your brother, your sister, your friends, tell them you love them, get around them. That's what life's all about. So what am I gonna do for the rest of the day? I'm gonna hit an absolute brutal gym session. I'm gonna get dialed in and I'm gonna work harder than any other AFL player has ever worked because I know if I'm the hardest working, I'm eating the cleanest, I'm gonna be playing the best footy. As simple as that. Lambros Army to the moon.